Hello everyone, welcome to this video. This is a very short video as a follow-up to my other video about the uh, altitude knob. This is for people who want to use the same knob on the uh, IFIS barometer here. It has basically the same functionality as the altitude now where you have to turn left right push pull and then we have a an other color rotary in this case for the inches mercury and the pascal uh, you need to measure on the uh, barometric pressure so basically you need the same you use the same parts from the uh, altitude knob except uh, this hub this uh, top cap or rather the hub the uh, the outer collar I made this slightly shorter than the first one um, not because I like it shorter but because uh, based on my reference photos of the real Airbus this one looks a little shorter than the altitude knob also the main rotary knob is uh, I, I made it shorter this is actually made of two parts the head and the body I printed the head separately because I want to eliminate the overhang uh, surface mess if you print it this way Similarly, if you print it this way, you also need a lot of mess. You also get a lot of mess from this side. Yeah. So this is already glued, but this is printed separately, and I have already painted this with light gray. So if you notice, this is the new hubcap, and compared to the original altitude knob, this is the difference. Now the reason for this is because the behind the FIS panel there is some space limitations and we need space for the flight director and the ILS buttons as well as the LCD displays. Um, by the way, I based the measurement for the upcoming uh, cab simulations FIS display. Now, if you look at here, uh, sorry about this mess. Uh, this is my simple DIY uh, AFIS panel. I don't know if you can see it from here. Let me adjust the camera for you. All right. So, this is an unfinished model here. Now, I have to reduce the size of the cap into this measurement because as you can see here at the back there is some space limitations between this hole and the two buttons here for the FD and the LS so if you put it in If you notice, we have just the right space to allow for the button. I'm not sure how your Cori would look like. I assume it is much bigger than this in terms of the case, the size of the case. This is a very simple, uh, crudely designed Cori switch that works for me, but I, I'm still working on an improved version of this and the reason I still I'm still reluctant to share this with you guys is because the way the locking mechanism is done is very yeah, very crude I just use glue gun here to stop the inner panel from dropping in front which is this one I am planning on ways to lock this inside because if you 
with, without the glue fixing here, this thing would drop if you tilt it forward like this. But it works for me, so why not? Well, anyway, uh, going back to the topic here. Uh, this new size also allows for the KAV. I made measurements of the KAV FS LCD and this is as much space as needed to, to install the glass. I mean the entire PCB structure. Uh, let's cross fingers because I have ordered that display and uh, I'm from where I am, it may take a little while for the thing to arrive, but uh, let's see how it goes when it comes in. So it's the same thing, let me just assemble this for you. Everything is the same except for these parts that I have modified. You can get the STL files from the link in the description below. The rest of the parts you can get from the altitude. Uh, Knob. There you go. Always forget the shaft. There we go. So with that in place, I have I still have enough space for my FT and LS buttons here. And hopefully, the KAV the LCD will fit just nice here with this enough space that I'm. If I use the original cap, definitely I cannot put another device as well as my Tori. In fact, as you can see here, I have modified my FD and LS button so that the frame on this side here is narrower than the rest to ensure that I still have enough space for the new hubcap here. So that's it guys. Um, for those who want the barrel knob, you can still use the same set of parts I have for my Altitude knob, except that you have to. Uh, I mean, you can use these parts from the old ones, but definitely uh, the hub here has to be this size. And of course, uh, the real one has a text in front that says uh, pool standard. I only have a 3D printer. I tried doing that, but the text doesn't appear very sharp, and uh, so I just leave it at that. Uh, I might have to find ways to label it. I don't know how, but uh, I'll get there. Thanks for watching.